I told y'all I'm living my best life. I told y'all I'm living my best life. I made a couple L's with my best friend. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Rissa Dean, and it is Valentine's Day, Love Day, whatever. Um, yeah. So I cut my hair back off, and it is now blue. Um, I will be posting a vlog next week of when I went to get my hair cut and dying. So, y'all make sure that y'all stay tuned for that. Let me know down below what y'all are doing for Valentine's Day. This is a Valentine's Get Ready With Me little chit chat video. We're going to make this really quick, really cute, really sweet. And y'all do not stay at this bump the whole video. Like, I, I don't know what happened. I think something bit me or something. I don't know, but it's like so ugly. Cause like the rest of my face is like pretty clear but then you come down here to this bump and it's like what's really going on but yeah i'm gonna show y'all my haircut because i got a heart i don't know if y'all can really see it but i got like a heart for valentine's day i don't really like plan that it just kind of um happened you know, because when I go get my hair cut, like, I be telling you, Raya, um, my friend that cut my hair, I be telling him, I be like, just, you know, just do whatever you want to. You know, like, I really don't care. I'm probably, like, the easiest person, like, because I just, I really don't be caring. So, anyways, we want to do a cute little Valentine's Day look today. So, if y'all would like to see that, then please continue to watch and make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and make sure that you hit, um that notification bell so that you can be notified of every video that I post. New videos will be coming out every Thursday at noon, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. And yes, make sure that you follow me on all social media and yeah, continue to watch. Okay, so let's get right into this video. I have already did my eyebrows and I already have on foundation. So now I'm just gonna start with my eyes. And I think I want to do like, you know, red and pink, you know, for Valentine's Day or whatever. So I really don't know what I have in mind. So I'm just kind of like going with the flow um, and just playing around. I haven't really had time to play around and make up in like a while. I'm just using the crayon case, one of my Juvia's palettes and um, my Morphe palette today. So I got like pinks and reds but i'm just using this brown like a this tan color like a transition kind of color just to kind of like set my eye okay so we're gonna talk about relationships and singleness and all of that type of stuff today and what i want to say about this topic is like i love love i don't care how many times i don't got hurt or how many times like i will get hurt I mean, I ain't expecting to get hurt no more because I don't know how many more times I got in me before I just be like, forget this for a few years, for real. But, <laughs> but like, really, like, I love love. Like, I've always been the type of person that just love love. And I'm not going to, like, like, I, I did get to a point where I was, like, bitter. Kind of, I guess the word was I was bitter and I really wasn't, like, stun nobody like i went with like i wasn't trying to be with nobody like like i really like low-key was savage like yeah like i didn't care at all like about a relationship i wasn't trying to get to know nobody like i just like if i talk to you and then i I like i don't like you no more you ain't gonna hear from me like at all no more like <laughs> it just was i cut you all the way off i mean Cause I mean, everybody go through their share of breakups and you know, you have your good times and your bad times and like breakups are necessary. Like heartbreaks, they're necessary because you're going to learn something. If you don't learn something from a relationship, then that's a problem because then in your next relationship, you're going to continue to accept the same things. So you have to learn from each relationship that you be in or whatever. And I can truly say that I have learned a lot of things about myself, what I like, what I don't like, what I will accept, what I, what I will not accept anymore because I have put up with some, 
I done put up with some crazy stuff and I be looking back and I be like, Marissa, are you for real? Like, what? Like, what in the world? What were you thinking? This ain't even you, baby. What was you thinking? Like, for real. Facts. God places people in our lives for a reason. And some sometimes he just places people in there for like a season to teach you something. But sometimes we let people stay in there like way too long, longer than they should have been in our life. And that has happened to me a couple times because you think like, oh, oh, this might be it. This might be it right here. But then, you know, it ain't. <laughs> But, yeah, like, it's all good. Everything is like a list. It's like, you just you just live and you learn. But if you ain't learning, you just keep on doing the same thing, then you really ain't getting nowhere. And then that's when, like, problems happen. And then you just, like, being with just anybody. Like, you don't have, like, you don't have to be in a relationship. Like, I know I hate, like, I think I, I didn't ask people before, like, why are you single? But I don't think I'd be saying it, like, in a, like, a bad way. Because people will ask you that in, like, a bad way. Like, why are you single? Um, because I want to be. Like, period. Yeah, it's not a problem with being single. Like, really, really, a lot of us should embrace our singleness and be single for a while before jumping back into a relationship. But, yeah, embrace your singleness. Don't get so caught up in by... It being Valentine's Day, you feel like, oh, because you don't have somebody, something is wrong with you because that is not the case. Like, you have to believe in timing. Like, God's timing is always right. Like, just, I mean, just, like, I had to learn this the hard way because I feel like, like, at a point in my time, like, a point in my life, like, a while back, like, years ago, I feel like, um... I feel like I always had to have, like, a boyfriend. Like, I was like, damn, bro, you, like, you never single. Like, and then I took that time for myself, and I just I got to know me and what I like. And not because you can, you can keep going through the same cycles with different people, but they really be, like, the same people because you go, you're doing the same thing. This is bright. This is so bright. This is, like, so freaking bright. I just had to like look at that like this eye look is gonna be like so freaking bright and um y'all know I don't usually do bright so I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this little look you have to take some time and be single just focus on you like I can't I can't stress that enough because I had to learn it myself and um It was the best thing that you can do. Like, and another thing, time don't mean nothing. I had to learn that too. Time don't mean a thing. You could have been talking to somebody for 10 years, but you still going through the same thing. You still putting up with the same crap. What you going to be with somebody for uh, all that time for? And y'all ain't even made, like, no progress. For don't waste your time and stay in something that... You really don't want to be in, but you just thinking that you should because you done invested so much time in it. Like, you can meet somebody tomorrow and, like, that just be everything that you ever thought that you wanted, but you didn't even know you wanted it because you were stuck up on somebody else. Like, you got to move on. Period. Don't get stuck in a bad situation. Because you scared to move on. It is okay to move on. Move the freak on. The time don't mean nothing at all. And that's a fact. <laughs> that's a fact. Okay. I done been stupid before. Just like a lot of y'all probably done been stupid before. Don't try to act like you haven't. Because I feel like. Like, to me, I feel like everybody have, has to go through, like, their phase of being stupid. You know what I'm saying? I Maybe mean, not everybody, but, I mean, everybody done been stupid for somebody before. And they done did a whole bunch of stuff that they just really probably think, thought that they would never do. Because I have. Done put up with a lot of crap that you just thought you would never put up with. But you did because you thought you loved somebody. But 21 Savage... 
Say the best. Love. What he say? I forgot. I for Dang, I forgot. Hold on. But 21 Savage said it best. I'm going to tell y'all what he said. Hold on one yeah, second. He said that best. Love is just a feeling you can love somebody just by being attached. Love don't really mean nothing. You rather have loyalty. Rather have loyalty than love. Because love really don't mean jack. Because I done told, like, different friends. Like, once you think about it, like, after you done got out of a relationship, you be like, that wasn't even love. Like, you thought you was so in love. <laughs> And that wasn't even love, like, at all. Love is not like that. Y'all better read the Bible. The Bible tell you what love is. All the, char all the character traits of love. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not judge and, you know, all that stuff. But you can't, listen, but you cannot be healed. You cannot be healed by the person that hurt you. It don't make sense. It just it just can't happen. You got to know God and know yourself before you try to like be in a relationship with anybody. For real. And embrace your singleness. Like Embrace singleness. Like, it's it's not as bad as people try to make it seem. Like, and when I say embrace your singleness, I'm not, I ain't trying to say, like, embrace your singleness and then be a thought. You know what I'm saying? Just be by yourself. Enjoy you. Do things that you like to do. It's okay to go out to eat by yourself. I don't went out to eat by myself a few times, and it's, it's not a problem. Some people think that's a problem. I done been to the movies by myself, but I mean, you can sit at home and watch a movie, movie by yourself. Like, why wait for it to come on DVD? Take your butt up to that movie theater and just sit in there by yourself. Like, it's stuff like that is not a, like a problem. But you gotta be secure in yourself first before you be trying to be with somebody else. Like, so I have finished this look. And the moral of the story is what I want y'all to get out of this little chit chat is don't ever give up on love no matter how many times you done got your heart broken or how many times you done been through the same old crap. The only thing you need to do is to help kill some of them cycles is to focus on you for a while. Take some time and embrace your singleness and be single. Be like very single. Not being a thought, just be like single and focus on you. Get you together, find out what you like, what you don't like, what makes you happy, you know, all of those type of things. And the right person to come along, you know, I done seen it happen for a lot of people in my life <laughs> recently, so, and I'm sure it'll happen for me. <laughs> Let me not put that on there. Because I know this motherfucker gonna watch it. But yeah, like, um, yeah. Don't, um, don't get so caught up in today being Valentine's Day and then you feel some type of way because you don't have anybody. Like, Galentine's. Y'all not heard of Galentine's? What about your friends? What about your girls? Like So anyways, yeah, y'all let me know what y'all are doing for Valentine's Day. If y'all are celebrating Valentine's Day with your honey, your boo, your bae, or with your girls. And y'all let me know what y'all think about this look, honey, girl, child, boo. Like, <laughs> y'all just let me know what y'all think about this look. I'm talking about the whole look, though. Like, I'm back to being bald-headed. I'm blue-headed. This These freaking lashes is taking me from, from basic to bleh. Girl, like, y'all, shop with her and get you some lashes, for real. These lashes are everything. Like, and this is, like, my sixth time wearing them. Like, I kid you not. And that's okay. okay, you guys, that is it for this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on all social media. And, yes, you guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.